Hi, and welcome to another lesson of Master Everyday English. As you can see, I am dressed very smartly today for a specific reason, because in today's lesson, we're going to focus on job interviews. And I'm gonna give you some tips on taking a job interview in the United States. And we'll also look at a very standard conversation that you'll have in a job interview. Here are some simple guidelines that you should follow if you're having a job interview in the United States. Firstly, you want to arrive early. Not crazy early, just five or 10 minutes early. Um, it shows obviously that you can be punctual for the job, you can arrive on time, but it also shows that you're motivated and you're eager. Wear formal clothes, formal clothes. Next, use formal language. By formal language, we just mean be polite. Uh, if you walk in and sit down, then it's polite to ask and say, may I sit down? Next, keep a physical distance. So when you come into your interview, you should keep a, a distance away from the people in the room. Also, it's probably a good idea to keep a distance, especially now because of the coronavirus. Um, most people expect to have a little distance between you and themselves. Now, this is really important. Know your resume. Now, your resume, of course, before the interview, you sent your resume to them and that's got all of the information about the jobs you did in the past, about your education, uh, about your, a little bit about your history. So it's really important that you know your resume because of course, they might want to ask you about something, maybe a job you did or something that you, you did in your personal life. So make sure you can remember all of the parts of your resume. Now let's look at some of the common questions that you can expect when you go into a job interview in the United States. Tell me about yourself. If you're asked to talk about yourself, of course, they don't want to know about everything in your life. They just want to know really about your professional background. So that's what you want to focus on, your professional background. Now, after you've spoken about your professional background, of course, it's nice if you can say a little bit about your personal background, maybe your family or where you come from. Um, but the idea of talk about yourself or tell about yourself is really to tell about your professional history. Why do you think you're the best person for this job? In this question, they want to know about the specific skills or the specific knowledge that you have that fit the job that they are offering. So you want to talk about any knowledge or any skills or experience that you have that will fit this kind of job. What is your greatest strength? Again, here, they're asking you about your strength, how strong you are in the job. What are the things that you're very, very good at in the job? This is not really connected to your personal life. Although if you can find a good example of something that is from your personal life that connects to the job, then this is a good time to speak about it. Otherwise, you're talking about the things that you're very good at in the job. What is your greatest weakness? Here again, they're asking you for something connected to the job. 
Now, of course, you really don't want to show that you have some, some terrible weakness, like you turn up late or you're sick very often. That's not what they want to hear. What they probably want to hear is some weakness that's actually a strength. Something like maybe you work too hard or you, um, you spend too much time concentrating on your work. Of course, that could be a weakness, but in the job, obviously, that's also a strength. How do you handle stress? Now, of course, in many jobs, there are times when you have lots to do, and this can be very stressful. So they want to know how you will react in these situations. This is a good time to give an example of a situation in your history, in your work history, where you dealt very well with stress. If there was a specific situation in a job where it was a stressful situation and you did something to control the situation, if you can give that example, that's really good to impress your interviewers. Where do you see yourself in five years? Of course, you want to show that you're motivated, that you want to grow in the company, but of course you don't want to be too overpowering. You don't want to be the boss of the company, but you want to show that in five years time, you hope that you have progressed in the company and you've grown as an employee in the company. What salary expectations do you have? It's important here that you've done your homework and that you know more or less what the average salary is for your job. And it's also a good idea to, to say that you expect to be paid the average rate for the job. Do you have any questions for us? Yes. You do. You have questions. This is a great opportunity to show that you're motivated and that you want the job. If you can find out some information about the company so that you can ask questions about the company, maybe ask questions about their working policies or something about the history or something about their future goals of the company. This is a great opportunity to show that you're motivated and that you're interested in the job. So now let's listen to a very standard job interview. Listen to the questions and listen to the responses. So let's imagine this is the master everyday English, English language school, and I'm looking for a new teacher to join my staff. Today, I'm interviewing Mary, and Mary's very interested in joining our staff as a full-time English language teacher. So, let's start the interview. Hi, Mary. Please, come in, take a seat. Hi, <laughs> thank you for having me. You're welcome. How are you today? Is there anything I can get you before we start the interview? Would you like some water or perhaps some coffee? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, great. Firstly, could you tell me uh, a little about yourself? Yes, yeah, so I graduated with my degree in education um, and I went on to get a master's as well. And I taught uh, out of the country for eight years. I taught English as a second language. And then back in the US, I've taught fourth grade math and science. Excellent. Sounds like you have a lot of experience. What do you consider to be your greatest strength? Um, I think my greatest strength would be my 
dedication. So um, I, I will work long hours. I will go above and beyond um, what is asked of me to make sure that um, my students are learning. Okay, thank you. And on the flip side of that, what do you consider your greatest weakness? Hmm. Let me think about that. I have a hard time delegating tasks to other people. So I will say yes to a lot of things and I have a hard time asking others for help or kind of delegating jobs to other people. And how do you handle stress? Yeah, so sometimes teaching can be very stressful. At work, I try to make sure I'm organized. I have a daily to-do list so I can track the things that need to be done. And I look through the whole week to make sure I know what's coming up during that week. If you join our English school, where do you see yourself in five years time? I see myself as a, a important part of the team here at the school. I'm interested in helping to train other teachers. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in today, Mary. Um, do you have any questions for me before we finish the interview? I do have one question. I'm just curious if you have any plans to open up other branches um, and you know if you're looking for anyone uh, eventually to help uh, kind of build and, and grow the school. That's a great question Mary. Yes absolutely you're right we are a small We're finished for today's lesson. In today's lesson I gave you some, some tips, some ideas that can help you to go into your job interview with a little more confidence. And we also looked at some of those very common questions that you can expect in a job interview in the United States. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then don't forget to subscribe.